Everybody, and first up tonight and only on News 5, the owner of the minor league, Orem Owl, speaking exclusively with News 5 about the last minute change up that could prevent him from relocating his team to Pueblo. Good evening, and thanks for joining us here on News 5 at 6. I'm Rob Quirk. And I'm Elizabeth Watts. News 5's Andy Cohen has the scoop on the Owls. He's in our Pueblo studio with a closer look at how things went wrong so quickly, Andy. Robin Elizabeth, this is all about the land. The city owns two properties on the Riverwalk that have long been identified as a site for Orem Owls owner Jeff Katowski to build new hotels. But rather than sell them directly to him for a fair market value, the city is thinking of taking bids, and Katowski said that move would force him out of the deal. The baseball deal that all the parties agreed to last month calls for Owls team owner Jeff Katowski to build two of three planned hotels on property he would buy from the city along the Riverwalk, this grassy field, and the old police annex. But city manager Sam Azad told the Harp Authority in this letter last week that the charter requires a sealed bid process for selling city land. He's right about that, but for Katowski, it's a deal breaker. It's always been a three pronged piece, and all of a sudden, for whatever reason, the city and Harp uh, decided to put the land in, in flux, which <laughs> takes your heart out of the back and that whole thing. He sent an email yesterday frustrated by the last minute switch. He feels forced out because bidding could delay construction by at least another 30 days, and it opens the possibility that another buyer could outbid Katowski. Well, if somebody who wants to stop the project, really simple for them to outbid it from the land and simply not build it. Remember, the deal was supposed to be announced back in February? Well, Katowski wants to open hotels by 2020 because there just aren't enough rooms downtown. Those programs need literally tens of thousands of room nights over a short period of time. And you have 250 or 270 in the downtown. We can't even support the owls, let alone the youth program. Urban Renewal Director Jerry Pacheco put it bluntly in an interview with our Katie Blaze last night. To be brutally honest, the decision needs to be made very quickly. Now, it may seem like the city's hands are tied here, but they're not. Council can pass a resolution that lets the Harp Authority sell the land directly to Katowski. In fact, they did that exact same thing a decade ago, back in 2007, for another developer who built the Angelo's Pizza Building. The city manager Azad said in his letter that he will ask the council to make that change, even though he prefers the bid process. Watching out for you, Pueblo, Andy Cohen, News 5.